Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In November 2020, Indian Navy had leased two MQ-9 UAVs to enhance surveillance over Indian Ocean region. The UAV was initially leased for a year but was extended subsequently. The lease of these RPAs is set to expire in January 2024 and Indian Navy is further looking to extend its lease. Since its induction, these RPAs has proven to be great assets. Due to their extremely high endurance, these drones provide real-time domain awareness from Eastern Board of Africa and Gulf of Aden to Sunda Straits in Indonesia and beyond. The lease drones are also used to survey Chinese build-up all along the LSE after the May 2020 aggression by PLA in the Eastern Ladakh. The Indian Navy had used MQ-9 drones and Boeing PAI multi-mission aircraft to scan the entire 3044 km line of actual control with China to understand the Chinese build-up all along the LSE. This has given Indian military a clear idea of Chinese army's plans and capabilities. On 22nd November 2022, the 2 MQ-9 RPA which was on lease has completed its 10,000 flight hour in exactly 2 years with maiden flight of MQ-9 taking place on 21st November 2020. The armed forces are impressed with MQ-9's over the horizon ISR support for surface troops and Indian warship as well as the platform's remarkable endurance and operational availability. Currently, Indian Navy uses MQ-9 for maritime surveillance from Gulf of Aden to Sunda Strait in Indonesia. These RPAs have helped Indian Navy to cover over 14 million square miles of operating area with its wide range of sensors, high endurance and its low operating costs. The MQ-9 has proven to be a complementary system for navies and air force operating as a maritime patrol aircraft. Though some national security planners feel that the predator armed drone is probably expensive and find US made Boeing PLTI aircraft sufficient for the job the Indian military wants a mix of both armed and surveillance drones for country specific missions the operational cost of MQ-9 RPA is also much less when compared to PLTIs on 17th May 2023 The INAS 312 Squadron operating PLTI aircraft based at Arakonam clocked 40,000 hours as the aircraft completed a decade of diverse naval operations. At the same time, the two MQ-9 RPAs have accumulated more than 10,000 flight hours in just two years. India and US have been negotiating for a deal for additional MQ-9B armed drones for almost six years. India is the only non-NATO country cleared for acquisition of this platform. The recent report reveals that Indian Armed Forces have pruned the requirement of 30 MQ-9 RPAs to 18, with each services getting 6 RPAs. India has negotiated for local assembly of MQ-9 RPA. Indian Navy chief had also told that at least 60% of the quantity of aircraft proposed for procurement in India will be manufactured in India. For local manufacturing, General Atomics has partnered Bharat Forge to produce the main landing gear components, sub-assemblies and assemblies of RPA. As a part of MQ-9 deal, India is also looking for transfer of certain niche technology to DRDO required for indigenous design and development of hail RPAs. Now all eyes are on the upcoming Indian Prime Minister visit to US to finalize the long pending deal. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.